So I had listened to Joel Osteen's sermons for years, probably since 2014, I guess. I listened to those, but see, in 2016, I had a massive stroke and it paralyzed me from the waist down. And I was at the hospital and rehab and all that. On Sundays, you know, I was used to going to church and everything and I couldn't. And I would listen to him about his sermons and how he was always empowering and helping people. And I was like, wow, you know, this would be a good church to go to because at the time, 20, now we're at 2020, COVID hit and I couldn't go out because of my immunity and my paralysis. And I was like, maybe I should go to their website. Maybe they have something I could do or whatever. And so I went to the website and I knew about the sermons on YouTube. So I already knew about that. But then I looked at classes because I wanted like a deeper connection. And I saw the hope for depression. And I was like, oh, this will be good because that's what I was going through at that time. I was very depressed, very hurt and very upset. So that's how I found hope for depression. Yes. When I started going, I was very upset, just depressed about the stroke and not being able to walk. And I was so bitter. I didn't want to forgive my doctor. I blamed my doctor for what happened to me. So I went to the class and it took me a couple classes to get kind of acclimated, but I was so upset. I, it's like the devil wanted me to block all these feelings of, you know, seeing what, even though I didn't have legs, I do have legs, but they weren't working at the time. But it's like the devil wanted me just to just be upset and to be hurt all the time. And when I went to the class, they gave us tools. That's what they would say to go in our toolbox, you know, that we could use against depression. And so I started taking notes. Some of these tools were scripture or tools against spiritual warfare, Bible verses, healing in scripture. And so I started getting all of those together. And each time it got easier and easier when I would go to the class. And um, once I went to the class and I used my tools, I was able to deal with the pain and the hurt that I had buried for so long because like this happened seven years ago. So that was a lot of pain. And so what I did, I started going every Tuesday, never missed a Tuesday because I, every Tuesday I would go, it was like, I needed that. I felt the anointing on this class and it was just like so important for me to be there and not miss a class. So I started going every Tuesday and then we had a situation where we could t- share our testimonies. I decided I would share mine. And after I shared mine, I felt even more activated with the class because then they could see where I came from, what I went through. So I shared my testimony. Then about a couple weeks after that, I was asked if, what I like to teach sometimes. And so that's how I got to, you know, being a leader in teaching. And, you know, it's even so great to be a leader because these new faces that are coming in, they were where I was when I started. And it's so great to help people through the brokenness and the anxiety and the depression. First of all, you know, give yourself grace because even though you're going through a hard time, don't be too hard on yourself because where you are, you're not going to stay there. God has a plan for you and he knows every Thing. He knows your whole heart and he's going to be with you there the whole time and help you with it. So don't think you have to stay where you are. You're going to stay where you are. God will get you through it. And some of the tips that I use the Bible stay in the word, stay in the scriptures, because the word's alive. We have a living word. Stay in the Bible, stay in just knowing yourself. Give yourself grace. I mean, realize that, yes, I'm hurting. I'm upset, but depression is not my future. It is not, you know, going to hold me down. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through it with Bible and scriptures. God's going to guide me. And by his grace and this, by his stripes, we are healed. So that's what I would tell somebody who was, you know, in my place. Things may happen to you. It may not be a stroke. It may be something else, but just know that with God, you can get through it. You can overcome and he'll be, he'll be with you the whole time.